Today I am going to show you how to build a bunch of different designs for flying machines. You can use the timestamps in the description to navigate through each part of the video. Each flying machine will have different uses, so you might want just one different design and that's it. Or you might want a bunch of designs. So just pick and choose what you want to watch. Okay, so first of all I'm going to show you how to build a two directional flying machine. So a two directional flying machine will go in two different directions. But you do have to put a block here, so if I put a block here, the flying machine will go. If I go to the other side and put a block here, the flying machine will go on the opposite direction. So this is used for many different farms, so you may be mainly like flying machine based farms, so kelp farms, um, bamboo farms, and those sort of farms. And also you can add on bits to here, so if I put some slime, if you put like pistons here, or actually here would be better and an observers here. You can use that to destroy pumpkins to get, make a pumpkin farm or even a melon farm. So this flying machine is used quite a lot. So now I'm going to show you how to build it. So the items are right there. So what's in my inventory right now is what you'll need, but you'll need two of each item. So if I put in, put a sticky piston here, two slime blocks here, sticky piston here, observers in place like this. So now I'm going to get some get a block, so I'm going to use obsidian because I've got it in my inventory. And that will make the flying machine move. Very simple. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the next flying machine. So over here is another two directional flying machine. But instead of going across and back, this goes up and down. So now I'm going to trigger it. So if I put a block here where the observer is facing. The flying machine will go down. Now if I go down to here, as you can see where the observer is facing, I'll place a block here and the flying machine will go back up. So really simple. This is just uses the same items as the other one, so the one over here uses exactly the same amount of items, except it's a bit different. So if I go here with the sticky piston, just place one fa facing downwards like this, get a slime block, put it there, right next to the sticky piston, get an observer, face it into this obsidian here. So if you put in a bit of obsidian or even a furnace if you want to there, that'll stop the flying machine from being able to travel any further. So I'm going to put a slime block here, add a sticky piston here, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a temp block here, so I'm going to use slime, and an observer facing into here. Really simple. Now I'm going to move on to another flying machine, so this one's pretty much the same as this one, except it's a tiny bit bigger, so if you want to extend it to make it longer, you can even stick blocks here to make like a really cool piston door that like hides away in a way, and you can just make it like this, so instead of using slime on the other side, you can use honey as honey doesn't stick to slime, which makes it really useful for this sort of flying machine. So if I trigger it here, so... As you can see, the flying machine works really well. And if I put, put a block here to trigger it here, it will go down. So I'm not going to do, do a tutorial on this one because it's exactly the same as the other one, except I'm just adding some honey blocks on the other side instead of slime. Now onto a few more complicated flying machines. So this one is a self-returning flying machine. So I've got the designer for this one in the description below, so if you want to go check him out, he's quite cool. Um, you can go do that now, but I'm going to show you how to build this. So over here is a self-returning flying machine. So if I trigger it here, so the observer is facing into here, so I'll just place a block here. And it should return back up. As you can see, it's self-returning. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to build this thing. So first of all, you're going to need some obsidian. And I'm just going to make it sort of an L shape in a way into here. So now I'm going to place an observer down here. And then I'm going to put a sticky piston in here. Some slime down here. And some slime here. And then a sticky piston in here. And I'm going to go across. This is like another L shape on the other side. And I'm going to put a trapdoor here. You can use any trapdoor you want. And I think it also works with redstone lamps too. And an observer in here. So you need two observers here. And then that's it. Really simple. So now I'm going to trigger it, and it should stop, and go back up. Now onto another self-returning flying machine, so this one's a little bit different, so it's pretty much the same as that one, except it goes across this direction. So it is actually exactly the same as that one, so I'll also do a tutorial for this one just in case you need a bit of help. So this one's actually a self-returning, but then it returns again, so I'll show you what I mean by that. So it'll go in sort of an infinite loop. So it's the same mechanics as the other one, except it goes in an infinite loop, so it has like an extra trapdoor. So it'll just keep going, and then if you want to stop the machine, 
you can just put a you can just flick this lever here and that'll power this trap door stopping it and there you go and you don't have to use terracotta but i quite like the look of terracotta okay so now onto the tutorial so first we're going to need some slime so we're going to place it in an l shape similar to the other one now i'm going to put out block and then slime here we're going to also do another l shape here and now we're going to get a sticky piston here a sticky piston here and then what we're going to do is we're going to get a trap door over here so now i'm going to put an observer so facing into here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to break this and face an observer in there and i'm going to put a observer in here and that's going to power this trap door here and we're going to repeat the same thing on the same side so what we're going to do is we're going to place a trap door in here like that and an observer facing in this way and an observer facing in this way so like that so that's this one so now to trigger it just flip this like that and you're gonna have to make this sort of mechanism so if i go across here up here so actually and i go up here and we're gonna get a lever and i'm gonna flip this lever and that will stop the flying machine in its place so this is very similar to the other one and you can take the same sort of mechanics as the other one and put it onto this one so you can have one that goes this way but only goes back once now onto a different self turning flying machine so this only goes back and forward so it doesn't repeatedly go back and forth back and forward like the other one does but this one you can attach items onto it and it's also one wide so this one's quite cool and it will come back and this is the bit which you're attaching to it so if you want to you can attach a TNT duper or whatever you want to attach even something to like destroy some pump pumpkins or melons or something like that and I'll trigger it again so you can see again so I've also got another link in the description to the person who designed this one as well so you can go check that out if you want to now onto the tutorial so first we're gonna get an observer which is gonna place it in here so it's fa it will be facing into some slime so I'm gonna place sort of an L shape in here like that and observe it in here now we're gonna need a normal piston there and I'm going to get a honey block here a sticky piston here and I'm going to put a slime block here sticky piston facing into here like that a sticky piston over here and that's going to be pushing the other item if you're not pushing anything then you don't need the sticky piston here or the slime block but you'll need the slime block if you're pushing something like a TNT duper or an extra attachment to like a machine that's destroying pumpkins or something like that so now I'm going to get an observer and just place it in like that so that's this flying machine done, so very simple. And it's self returning, so it'll come back itself. And as you can see, it's on this way back. Now what you can do if you want if you want to add attachments, you're gonna have to have a block between each one, as otherwise it won't work. Now onto the last flying machine. So also one of my favourite flying machines. This is this slimeless flying machine, so this wasn't designed by B, but it's really cool anyway, so I've got a link in the description to who designed it. So as you can see, I'm going to power this um, observer here, just place the block here. So this doesn't use slime whatsoever, so no sticky pistons or slime blocks. It's completely slime free, so it's quite cool as well. So I'm going to also show you how to build this one. So now onto the tutorial, so first you're going to need a honey block. So I'm going to put some honey blocks across here like this and I'm going to put a temp block back here so actually I'll break that and there a piston here and we're also going to have a piston on this side so I'm going to go two blocks across and across here and what we're doing is we're just making like a sort of a segment here which is the top segment so this looks quite similar to the other one there so this is like a similar sort of feature with that now I'm going to put a honey block across here like that and they're going to go two blocks down and a piston here and a honey block here over here we're going to go three two blocks over here and an observer facing into here and a piston here so now what we're going to do is we're going to place a temp block here an observer into here and I'm going to put some blocks across here like that and we're pretty much just repeating the same thing on the other side so a piston here with the observer there and I'm going to go down across here so down here and a piston over here 
like that. And I'm going to put a temp block here and a normal piston, a observer there. So that's the two directional um, slimeless flying machine. So this is actually two directional, just saying. As you can see, it flies perfectly. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Um, if you want to, you can subscribe, but I really don't mind because I do this for fun and this is quite fun to make. Like, I really like making these breadstone videos. They're quite enjoyable and it's quite interesting looking at different flying machines. So also go make sure to check out the other creators of these flying machines. So the main designers of most of these flying machines, definitely go check them out. And also helps a lot if you leave a like. And you can also go check out my Discord server where you can like chat and do what you just talk really and if you need any help with any farms um, you can just go there and ask any questions so I've got quite a few members there who are quite helpful and also make sure to go check my weekly community polls where I do like a vote on different farms like I do for like future videos and stuff like that so also go check that check out that too and I'll see you in the next video if you're going to watch any more of my videos and goodbye